right back for more. That little story I had to go turn the water on to the forest, or I, I call it the Eastern Front, <laughs> and I finally solved an issue I was having with the faucet. It's like it was, it was just spray, uh, I have a splitter uh, for hoses, a set of ho line of hose that goes to the Maginot line and a hose that goes to the Eastern Front. And right at where the uh, splitter met with the faucet, it was spewing water out. And no matter how much I tighten it up, it would always shoot water out around the um, the screw hole. The thing there, the Tom Griswold moment. So I, I took a, uh, so I said, okay, here, try this idea out. Uh, I took about, I th about a two foot section of hose, slapped it in, and it stopped leaking water. What it is that the two hoses were putting pressure on the faucet itself, making a little bit, little bit of the, um, make a little bit of a hole right there, no matter how much I tighten it down. And by putting the uh, splitter on the ground, it took the pressure off those threads and made a good tight seal. And leave my personal life out of this. Yeah, that's uh, something I inherited from my dad, is trying to keep these trees alive. A bunch of them have died, unfortunately. Some of it's because I just can't get water directly to the roots like they need to be, on, especially on the Maginot line. I actually had, had to set sprinklers up that hit the, uh, they hit the uh, tree itself, but these are evergreens, and so it's just like water's just going right on to the, uh, well, the evergreen branches and stuff. <laughs> I think it looked like April's looking at, at, the, at the screen there as I talk. But I had to do, a, done a lot, and a lot of work on the Easter Front. It's difficult because Dad just had to park a big old dump truck right where I need to walk. Thanks, Dad. I've been trying to get rid of that thing for like the last eight years. Nobody wants to buy a 1955 Ford F800 dump truck. I can sell it too. It's part in my name. I gave Dad. I loaned Dad the money. Yeah, got some water over here to my le to my laughter. Anyway. Now to finish up a couple of things, I need a magic book. And I've been walking by it this entire time. It's right here in this co- there it is. Ah, what's this? Magic chants for dragon slaying heroes. I'll just sneak a look. Grief. I've been read by a book. Sturcus, Sturcus Mortuus. No, I won't say it. I won't, at least not until I need to. Why can't we just throw the custard book? Yeah, I need to go into. I need to, yeah, this is where I was here before. I didn't have the crank handle. Clear off you every time you. Who, me? Clear. Who, me? I don't really need these here. What is it now? Don't listen! Well, it's about this leecho suction thing. Are you gonna pay the balance you owe or what? What leecho suction? 
I've patented new fat removal system. Your friend here put a down payment on for a treatment for your wife, and we need to collect the balance. You backstabbing little... Don't listen. It's a lie, just like all the other times. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, thanks, pal. Uh, no offence. No, no, none taken. Oh, good. So, do you want this leecho suction or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Clearly, I'm dealing with inferior intellects, which is quite hard to do in my case. That sword's out of tune, that is. You want to take it to a dwarf, mate. They know all about tuning up swords. Ah! A sword that goes ploink. That doesn't... Everybody. So you know who the dwarf is. Why is that thing even there? It makes no sense at all. Take a sword out and just... That doesn't... Show... You're all warriors. Warriors, what I must say. <laughs> so, do you know anything about swords? Ask me. You can get hurt with swords. I know. Not for a real sword, see? You've got to go and get a dwarfish sword. They're the only ones who know how to tune them properly. Tune them, eh? Hmm. Try the mines if you're looking for dwarves. They'll do you a favour. Ahem. <clears throat> right. Any friend of mine's is a friend of theirs. <laughs> well, I'll just... Uh, kind of obvious there, fortunately. <laughs> kind of like this song. Abandon all hops, ye who enter here, by order of Dwarven Women's Temperance League. Excuse me, sir. Yes? What is it? I haven't got all day. We dwarf and sword smiths lead a busy life. Excuse me, sir. Yes? What is it? I haven't got all day. We dwarf and sword smiths lead a busy life. Swordsmith? Yes. As in your actual maker and tuner of magical swords? Ah, that's the one. Hmm. Well, would you tune up this sword for me? Yes. 
will right now be soon enough for you. Look, you're sure you're a dwarven swordsmith? What do you mean? Well, aren't you going to tell me that you won't do the task until I find some obscure item from somewhere? Why? Well, it's traditional. Nothing's easy for adventurers. There's always just one more object to collect. Well, if you want it that way, I suppose. All right, go. And return only when you have brought me... <laughs> A glass of elderberry wine. That's it. Complete your quest, and then return. How was that? Oh, marvellous. I can't thank you enough. Any time. <laughs> you asked for it once when you literally asked for it. Tanket of wine? Uh, I, I can't, sir. The cellar's full of uh, thingies. Uh, what are they called? You know, furry blighters with the tails. What, foxes? That's it, foxes. Hundreds foxes? of them, all squeaking and eating cheese. Oh, we've got a plague of foxes in our cellar. Yeah, well, when it comes to real foxes, you don't really want them as pets. Save a fox is all is great, all right, but I love them dearly. But I would not want a dozen foxes at my house. Not even one. Who's there? Hello. Look, what are you doing? Really? Oh, uh, look. I'm an anchor. Leo. So, um, well. Who's there? You're not. Why are you hiding me up? Oh, stop! Ah! Well, I think I can help you there. I can find you some foxes. Foxes? Sorry, I meant mice. Anyway, I can find you a few if you like, and you can try scaring those. They are not big mice, are they? I, I don't think so. I mean, those ones that jump can't bear it when they jump. Well, you just come along and we'll find you some ones that don't jump. with them. That doesn't work. That does
need to pause for a second here. I know it makes sure to look up something for the last little part of the game here. Forgot the luggage gets drunk off the elderberry wine. I really need to save time. <laughs> And it was the first time I did that. I made the mistake of putting the uh, wine in the luggage. For something. Programs, get your souvenir programs. Only one penny each, and I'm cutting my own throat. What's that lady doing lashed to that rock? Um, reserved seating. I thought you said nothing was going on. Well, it isn't, but if anything does happen, then she's got a front row seat. Help! She said help. No, she didn't. She said whelp. She's calling for puppies. Give me one of those damn programs. Opening act. Grand Fanfare and Dancing Girls. The amazing Bendable Sisters will perform amusing novelty acts. Hmm, should be worth seeing. Followed by... Lady Ramkin will be offered as a sacrifice to appease the mighty dragon. Main attraction hero roast. Sausage sizzle to follow. If wet, in the town hall. Help! Don't worry. We're pretty certain a hero's going to turn up. 
Where? When? Are you sure? Oh, there's no stopping the buggers. That's what we're here for. And if it doesn't work out, there's always the sausages. Well, now that dragon can meet its doom at last. Little did it expect that it would meet up with a true hero. Who? A hero? Who? Me. So you found all the bits you need then? Yes, now I finally have the power. I'm a hero at last. it's going to be a million to one against you killing it. Never! What can a dragon possibly have to match my wits, my cunning, my majestic pointy hat? Why, the creature's nothing but a lizard with big ideas. Just a scaly, bloated, cowardly... Ahem. I said I'd leave you until last. Go for it, lad. Hit it in the vulnerables. Shush. Look, Mr. Dragon, why don't we just come to some sort of agreement? I mean, I am a hero. Heroes win. Well, no fact. On the other hand, in a sensible universe, the actual chances of my harming you are about... A million to one? Yes, that's it. So, in the interest of promoting mutually beneficial relations, why don't you push off and bother another city? Thank you very much. No hard feelings. Case dismissed. You feel this is the best course of action for the overall promotion of positive experience, which is to say, enjoyment and well-being? Exactly. Because if the day ends with one of us dead, then the negative experience of the loser will cancel out the positive experience of the victor? Yes, yes, that's it exactly. Hmm. Yes? I think I'm going to eat you anyway. Was it something I said? No. It's just that I hate philosophers. Sorry. Well, in that case, take this. Stercus Morturus Sum. Stercus Morturus Sum. Stercus Morturus Sum. that much. Hey! Hey! No! How did he survive that? Well, that was one chance in a million. Right, that's it. I've had enough of you. What happened to the philosophy? I'll give you something to think about. I'll be here. I'll be back. Hmm, that wasn't a bad line. Hey, I'm 23 minutes into this. I saw that doesn't work. That doesn't. All right, let's see if I can get this correct. of the game. Walk outside and come back in. Maybe they'll reset it. 
It may be that I might have downloaded a different version of the game. I noticed something. I may not work on this version because it's the DOS version. When I'm looking at the video online, it, they're playing Discworld on Scum? Are they playing the PlayStation version on Scum? It's gonna work. I remember reading somewhere that maybe on the DOS version it was removed. I'm not gonna bother with it. I'm like 25 minutes into this. A maiden in distress. Well, technically a maiden, anyway. If we rescue her, I think we'll just give the kiss thing a bit of a miss. Yeah, that's for, uh, that's for I Captain Vimes. I have. Actually, it's amazing they found a rock around here at all. That d There's that d Not on the PlayStation version. I have. Ow. Well, that's not how I remember it working. says to put a lit firecracker over Mambo's throat. But I remember having to go around and put coal in him. Crackers go. Oh. 
Well, here's hoping I don't have to restart this whole section. Making sure you come around here at least twice. Ah! Of course. Spot to go to. Above Discworld 1 and 2, Rincewind spends a lot of time outside the city. But Discworld 3, Discworld Noir, <laughs> is all in the city. in them. Oh, nice that we don't have to walk all the way back here Not again. Not you again. Can't you leave a monster in peace to eat? from Mega Man Legends. Aha! Hasta la mista! Eat hot smoking death, reptilian trash! Is that a swamp dragon in your hands? Or are you just pleased to see me? This is an M16, the world's most powerful swamp dragon. It can blow your head clean off. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> So that's why it doesn't have any vulnerables. It's a girl. A female? On heat, too. They always get scrappier when they're feeling a little, you know, overheated. Good 
grief. By Mothra's hand warmers. This click is going to make me a vulture. It's hardly suitable for public viewing. Well, you go up there and tell them. Anyway, it has artistic integrity. He's got an interesting seductive technique. Lots of energy anyway. Pub anyone? Why not? Sorry, uh, the horse threw a shoe. I had to see about a shipwreck. Uh, my side went blunt. Oh, there was a terrible earthquake. Uh, the map got lost. Uh, my robe didn't come back from the cleavers. There was a sudden plague. It's not my fault. No oh, bugger. Well, obviously, we can't use the Enterprise E. <laughs> this last one went on a lot longer than I wanted it to.